Well, I guess. Right. <laughs> well, we did see some healthy reports of snow across the state. This was a low end event with one to three generally with up to four inches in a few spots. Nevada, four inches reporting there over in Iowa City, 3.3 inches and to the south of the metro, New Virginia checking in with just 1.3 inches of snow. Now up to the north right along Highway 20, a good one to two fell. And then we had the heavier band setting up basically right along Interstate 80 and southern Iowa. You did get light snow, but you also have a lot of wind out there. The accumulating snows are done with. The system is moving on, but on the back side of it, we've got flurries developing. And some of these could be heavy pockets of flurries or light snow, leading to very minor accumulations. Another dusting or so, but from Ankeny down through the metro, Norwalk, even back through Adel, we're dealing with those wind whipped flakes right now. The majority of the snow has moved out of the area, but we've got a lot of clouds. And on the back side of this, we'll continue to see that very light snow and the flurries developing Omaha, dealing with very similar conditions too. Most of the snow has now moved to the south across Missouri, stretching through Illinois, back up through Detroit. St. Louis today is going to pick up one to three inches of snow as well. South of St. Louis in the slightly warmer air, they're going to be dealing with the showers and the thunderstorms. Let's take you hour by hour. Dry conditions after that overnight clear skies. And with that fresh snowpack, lows are going to turn bitterly cold. Tomorrow we'll start out with a lot of sunshine. Clouds increase by the afternoon, but tomorrow will be a dry day. Just really cold, near record cold conditions. Now by Wednesday morning, 5 a.m., 6 a.m., some light snow sneaks in across north central Iowa. That continues through about 1 p.m., leading to minor and light snow totals here across the northern part of the state. A wintry mix is then possible for west central and southwest Iowa, clipping the Des Moines metro down through Lamoni and Ottumwa here through 8 p.m. before that heads out and skies begin to clear out again, leading to yet another really cold night. Snow tracker shows for that snow coming in on Wednesday, generally an inch or so across the northern counties and also a half inch to around an inch across the southern part of the state. So there could be a stripe here where we end up with basically nothing from Ames down toward Des Moines, but we're watching that to see if that changes over the next day or so. Something else to deal with, that wind. It is whipping that snow around, lowering visibility. It's gusting right around 30 miles per hour. Be extra cautious driving on the crossroads here. The east-west roads are going to be most of the headache today as that snow continues to blow back over the road. Could result in some black ice for that evening commute. It's also driving those wind chills down. We've got wind chills this noon hour, either side of zero. Grab your warm gear. It is not going to warm up at all this afternoon. Tomorrow morning, those wind chills down to 10 below zero from Grinnell up through four. Dodge. By the afternoon tomorrow, the wind chill still mainly in the single digits. Those kiddos are going to need their super heavy duty winter coats, the kind you would wear in January or early February. By Wednesday morning, another cold start is on the way. Right now in Des Moines, we've had a peak of sunshine and some more flurries coming through. A little sun and a little bit of snow at the same time. 19 degrees right now in Des Moines. That biting wind coming in out of the north, making it feel like only two degrees. Here is your eight day forecast. Near record cold is possible possible on your Tuesday, especially in the morning, and then more light snow comes in on Wednesday. That is going to be followed by a great break in that wintry weather with sunshine and actually a warm up by the weekend. Oh. Highs are going to get back into the 40s, maybe near 50 degrees, so that's going to lead to some melting out there and possibly some rain over the weekend.